Here's the same problem that I talked about in the last video. We have a person in a car feeling a force of 1,400 newtons when turning. So let's draw a quick picture of what's happening here. We have someone who's moving in a circular motion to make a turn. They are feeling a force inward of 1,400 newtons. We know that the person has a mass equal to 63 kilograms and that the curve has a radius. We'll just draw a radius in if we were to make this a full circle. A radius equal to 11 meters. Now, I wanted us to determine how fast the car was going. With our old problem, this would be somewhat difficult. However, with our new equation, centripetal force equals mass times velocity squared all over r, this shouldn't be too terrible. Let's plug in the information that we know. We know it's a force of 1,400 newtons. We know that's equal to 63 kilograms times a velocity squared. And velocity is what we're looking for, so we'll just leave that. We'll divide this by the radius of 11 meters and kind of go from there. As I work through the math here, I'd like you to try to determine exactly how much speed the person would have going through the circle. I'm going to divide both sides by 63 kg. So I would be left with V squared equaling 1,400 newtons times 11 meters divided by 63 kilograms. Now, if you were just to plug in 1,400 newtons, times 11 meters and divide by 63, you would not end up with the right answer. We have to make sure we remember that this is v squared and take the square root of what we get. Hopefully, as you work through the problem, you will find that the velocity is equal to 15.63 meters per second. This is a simple example of how to use this actual equation, this new equation that we just talked about. Make sure you understand this and take a second to talk to somebody next to you if you have any questions about this. In the next video, I'll show you one more problem and then you guys will have a chance to work on some of your homework problems. Their homework problems will be one through three on the interactive physics worksheet that the substitute will be passing out at the conclusion of these videos. Please make sure you have these down in notes and make sure you're understanding that we now have two equations that we can use. All right, get ready. One more video, guys.